are you vlogging in my room again? Because my baby sister is going off into the world. Ugh. And they say I'm the dramatic one. You're leaving me. It's not fair. That I'm going abroad or that I'm leaving you behind? Both. Just get your vlog over with so you can help me pack. <sighs> Fine. The date was strange. It really reminded me of Tortellini Bro, the one who was obsessed with Italian culture. You have a type. Not cool. <laughs> he wasn't obsessed with a culture, but he had that, I'm here to nurture you and make you dependent on me because I'm a male attitude. And while I couldn't really be blamed for the attitude, I can be blamed for missing out the last two words of his profile. Let me share with you that profile. I read it in the last vlog, but I'm going to give it to you again, fully. Maybe you just need some spoiling and support each month. Ugh. I don't have the energy right now to discuss why that mentality is so wrong. So I'm going to move on to my date and discuss how horrible it was. So not only was I barely able to make my own decision on what to eat, but he argued with me about getting up on my own after dinner. However, I might have hit him in the face with the door on the way out of the restaurant. Thankfully, uh, I learned from my first date and we drove separately. Did he bleed? No, but he will be sore for the next day or so. That's not really my problem though. Do you know what is your problem though? What? You're sitting on my shirt. <laughs> I need to stop procrastinating now and get to packing. No. Yes. In case you're wondering, Chris is leaving me forever. Not forever, just a month. Too long. You could have come with me. I don't have the money. And mom and dad can't really pay for both of us. Then hush. <sighs> Fine. Chris is traveling to the UK for one month, study abroad, though I doubt much studying will be happening. That's actually, yeah, that's true. You're going to have so much fun, and you're going to send me all the pictures, and I'm going to miss you like hella. I'll miss you too. Just keep me updated on your dating life. Of course. You're going to miss Eddie coming over next week. What? I have a date with Nick Spear. He says, the six things I could never do without, a camera, notebook, hot shower, good book, good company, and my passport. Wow. He almost seems too good to be true. At this rate, he very well might be. Dick pics? I've received... Five. Here's my date outfit as well. See you all next week. See you in a month.